What's up guys, Jim the Game Guru today with Whipsy and the Lost Atlas. Found it pretty cheap on the eShop. Uh, I think this actually goes for a regular price, 7 bucks. But I um, thought we'd give it a try. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And let's dive into some Whipsy and the Lost Atlas on the Nintendo Switch. Let's start a new game. Okay, so the little boy gets sucked into the book. And he gets turned into something. Give him a whip. Oh, okay. Cute little pixel art. I like that. And, okay, so B jump, Y, you can slap things around with your whip. Okay. That's kind of cool. Let's see, is there anything here? Or no? No. Collect some coins. And you get these gems too. I don't know what coins and gems do. I guess you can't swim, or can you? Let's try swimming. Let's see if we can swim. I'm not sure if we can. Oh yeah, we can. Oh, if you double jump, if you hold the jump again after you, you jump, you can do like a propeller. Can I smash this? Alright, no. So I need something that will eventually smash that open. Nice. I didn't know what to make of this game when I like saw it on the eShop. I was like, okay, I'll just give it a shot. You know, maybe it's garbage, maybe it's not. I kind of dig this. Like, it's cute looking. Oh my! And I'm getting, I'm dying like crazy. Can I whip up? I don't know how to get life. Oh, I'm guessing that ring is something you whip. And I just kicked the bucket. I, okay, I got five lives. Dang. How do you whip that? Yeah, you can swing. Okay. Cool. I don't know if you get extra lives, like if you get a hundred of those little gem things. I don't know what these coins are. Ooh. Oh, it looks like they're just part of the gem count, but just smaller. Let me see if I'm right here. Yeah. Okay. I don't have anything to smash anything with. Oh yeah, so if you get a hundred of those gem things, you get an extra life. Just like Mario. Okay, awesome. This is really cute. Uh, what is this? I wonder if you have like an inventory or something. I'm picking up potions and so oh maybe when you pick up the potion it just restores your life. Uh controls are really good, like the jumping and stuff, it's actually pretty solid. Oh I can't. I can't do anything with those. Like, really solid. I'm actually surprised at how good the controls are in this game. I have not had any issues with the jumping whatsoever. Oh my god. Looks like you just keep going, keep going, though. And there's something eventually, hopefully, that. Uh, yeah, fish just died somewhere. Yeah, so when you pick up that potion, you just. 
you just uh, end up getting some of your life back. Oh. Ah. Slap you silly boy. There we go. Oh wow. Okay, I can actually swim. I can actually swim here. I wonder if uh Nice. Oh, how do you get through there? What the hell? Oh, you just gotta do it. You just gotta do it when they're not zapping. Okay, so you can, you can actually swim through there. Oh. That's an enemy. For a second there, I thought that... Dang, dude. Oh, no way. Take that, boy. Oh, that was dumb, Jim. Now, none of the uh, creatures seem to drop like any kind of potions or anything. It looks like it's just the uh, just coins, which I need a ton of right now in order to. Oh no! Yeah, I I I died there. Pretty crap. Oh no! Wow, that's terrible. I wonder if I can hit this. Yeah, he's dead. Here I here I need like some coins for an extra life. And coming up short every time because I keep knocking these guys off the edge. Yes. Come on, I need some I need some life. No 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 come on come on come on come on come on. Pow Oh man, I need some big coins, guys. Like that. Not sure if there's oh no, first boss. Not sure if there's infinite continues or what. Ooh. So you can't slap him. Oh well. And I'm sure if I try to whip him while well, he's my goodness. It's a lot harder than it actually seems as far as fighting this guy. Especially when you're impatient as me right now. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, now he's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring out the big guys or the little guys. Man, he's got a ton of health. Wow. Wow. Oh, so you don't go down to zero. You're like... Oh, my God. And you start all over. Okay, now, let's see if we can beat this guy again. Managed to get here really quick. Like, it, it was a whole lot quicker than it was when I first uh, was just fiddling around the level. Like once you know where everything's at, it's like rapid fire, just getting to this guy. You can't get over how good the controls are. I mean, the controls are really, really good. I mean, it's a cute game, and it's... I mean, not, like, 
revolutionary in concept or anything, but it's kind of like, uh, it makes me feel like it's Kirby and Mario put together with just different abilities instead of Kirby's, like, sucking in power with his mouth and swallowing things. It's... You get a whip. Alright, so this is what, that was level one. I didn't get any special abilities though to kind of go down and smash something after beating that boss. I thought maybe there would have been like some special ability that you get. Uh, Alright, so this second world, it's Woodland World. Let's see if we can get to a boss in this one too. Now one thing about the levels that I've noticed is like it's almost like you don't really care about beating all the enemies. I mean yeah to get coins to get extra lives again. But I'm just flying through this because now I'm like, okay, well I know what his abilities are. I know ooh. Flying squirrels. And every enemy is like one shot kill. Um and I know it's just a matter now of just getting from one at the very beginning, you like you rush away until you get to the boss. Once you get to the boss, that's it. Just, just beat him. Instead of saying, oh, okay, well, let me beat every enemy. Let me see what this is. Let me see what that is. Like, I'm not even doing that now. I'm like, just flying through. Oh, ooh, I stepped on him. I can step on the guys, too. Oh, it knocks him out when you step on him. And then you can just slap him silly. Oh my god. Alright. I'm getting close to a- ooh, good, potion. Oh, I shouldn't have- I shouldn't have- I shouldn't have uh, consumed that so quick. Alright, time to slap you too. Ay yeah 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 yeah. Alright, come on flying squirrels. To your death! Ooh, froggies! Ooh, frogs that shoot fireballs. Oh my god. Come on. Slap you, silly. Boom. Up. Oh. oh, yes. I just stepped on him. Okay. I think this one, I just gotta, yep, just be careful and just step on the guys. Ooh, what? Oh, okay. That one had me nervous. I mean, the music's not bad either. Like, it's not as annoying as some of the other games that, like, I, like, I just, that you can play. Like, I just played a game recently with that would had like the worst music oh no music ever I gotta watch that last part right there it's like an instant death oh my god this is the only part that's a problem with this, with this uh this game that's hard like killing the enemies and avoiding them no problem but but man those pits that you can fall into you just yeah, like right here, you, you fall into this pit. It's over. Ooh, okay. What? Oh, you can't whip them. You're, when they're in the balls, you can't whip them. Okay, no big deal. I'll just do that. Oh man, I don't need that potion now though. Okay, let's see. The water is kind of 8 -bit, bit looking. Like the game feels like it's 16 bit the way it's, it's pixel art is, but the water in this is like 8 bit. Ooh. Man! My jumping is not very good in this level. No! Man! I feel like I can jump a lot higher and I'm, and I'm not. So, like, I really need to wait for this to come down really far.
like really really far I'm trying to jump early man this one all right cool oh so this is the boss guy come on what you gonna do yeah I kind of figured you'd be doing that pop pop Ooh. Ooh. Come on, roll at me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, okay, alright, I got you. Come on. What? No way. I gotta be careful now. Oh. Okay, this part is a lot harder now. Because he's sending his stupid goons down now. Uh. So I need to get three strikes in. No, sheesh. Alright, so I get another three strikes in. Man, what is the deal? I hate this part. Like, I want to hit him so bad, but I can't. I can't hit him! I can't hit him because the stupid guys keep coming down. Here we go. Take three of the boss. Yeah, I am dying that much of this boss. His pattern's really easy. It's not his pattern. It's, it's, it's the fact that, well, first of all, his health is ridiculous. You have to hit him like five billion times before he dies. And the other thing is that this part right here, because you need to hit him, and you can't hit him when this little guy's come down. You just can't hit him. So it's like my choices are I don't hit him. So it's actually, it's, it, it looks easy because the pattern is easy, but it's really, it's, it's, <laughs> it's difficult because you, you, because you just, you can't, you can't hit him. Like when, when, when the little guys come down, you just can't, you just can't. So now he's going to start doing the little guys. Yeah. And that's it. It's like I, it's like I, it's I like either. Either I hit the little guy. What? And don't hit the boss at all. And those are my only choices. So this is what I'm. This is what I have to do from now on. I, I can only hit him once because I need. Oh, I need to. Uh, well, I can only hit him once. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, that was dumb. I almost killed myself. I gotta be smart about this. There we go. There we go. Finally, yeah. It's like it's like I want to hit him multiple times, but I can't. I can only hit him once. After that, when that one part comes. All right. So let's see what we got for. I'm just kind of curious to see what this next world is. Okay, so world three is a desert world. 
a lot of inspiration from Kirby and Mario in this game. I mean, now even the cactus is from Mario in this game. I mean the the I mean the, the the actual play style of the game is gets a little repetitive because it's kind of like the same thing. Oh, even those that's crazy. That is just like the stuff in Mario, the, like the flames in Mario in, in the desert world. So like you don't get any new abilities, which is kind of odd to me because I, I feel like you should. I feel like there's certain parts that should be, maybe like those those places in the bottom where the, it looks like you can break something and get to something. Maybe those are just for show. Maybe they're not really anything that you can get to. Oh wow, that's instantaneous death. Okay. So that's it's kind of like a timing thing where you got to hit him. Oh, come on. Really? 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 I did not make that jump. The, some of the jumps are kind of hard to make. And if you don't make them, it's instant death. Got a grenade. Yeah. Some kind of firebomb. Pop. Pop. Oh wow. Well. Okay. And if you hit him on the platform, he knocks you off. And you are dead. I need an extra life, bad. If I even. Oh come on, my God. Yeah, okay. Um, well, this is probably, yeah, it looks like there's not very many levels in this game. So, like, that, the first part I was at the beach, then I went to the woods, then I'm in the desert, and it looks like you can go straight up to whatever those clouds or mountains are. And then it looks like there's a train world, if that's what I'm guessing that is, in the middle there, top. And then it looks like you go to the top left after that, which is some kind of clock tower or something on the edge of the thing um this is not as bad as i thought it was i mean it's a, it's an enjoyable game it is um it's cheap it's affordable and it has some some themes and some stuff well i shouldn't say themes but some mechanics and stuff or enemy similarities from like kirby and mario and kind of put into one game with a, a few differences you know you, Obviously, you having a whip, um, but it's kind of like Kirby Castlevania on Mario. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh, you know it's it's not it's not bad. I I, I do uh, I do like it. So it's and this is Whipsy in the Lost Atlas, and it's on the Nintendo Switch. Um, if you're looking for a cheap fun game, just to mess around with, or something for like a um, a cheap game for a child uh, this is probably a good choice the only thing that is not so nice with this game yeah yeah there's a little bit of genericness to it but um, the only thing I can think that could be kind of off-putting is the fact that you have to the bosses if you die on the bosses you have to kind of it's like it's like old school you have to redo the level over and over and over again so like the woods level I, I i had to go through that entire level um three times before i got to the boss it's not like just it's not like there's a checkpoint and a save like right before the boss and you can just continue playing the boss um so it's kind of old school in that aspect so but if you're used to old school gaming then that shouldn't be an issue but um yeah this is whipsy in the lost atlas and thanks for watching guys